guys. So this is me today, crazy haired and whatnot, because I've had a lot going on today. Um, I've been trying to edit my videos from yesterday and the day before because I couldn't get my computer to work for me and I finally figured it out and it was super hard and ridiculous but I got it so now all my videos should be up on time in the mornings every day so just keep an eye out for them I'll keep doing them right now my baby son boy is taking a baby hey Dad, you taking a baby you love babies yeah he loves bathies. Uh, bathies? Baths? Yes. Anyways, so that's what we're doing right now. It's been kind of crazy and hectic. And yeah, I'll get back to you later with more awesome crazy hecticness. Beautiful sunny day. Hi. <laughs> this is my hot husband. That you're not supposed to see while in there. Yeah, you can't see him at all. That's my hot dog <laughs> but yeah we're just out having fun playing in the sun getting some uh, sunshine I don't know hey man look how cute you are so today's been a really weird day just one of those days that you can't get things done you can't get a handle on things that's that's what's going on today in a little bit when my son wakes up we're gonna go over to Barnes and Nobles and I have to go buy a little children's book because I'm in this uh, uh, book exchange for mommies, that's what it's called. So, anyways, so maybe I'll take this time to kind of tell, my, tell myself. <laughs> I'm going to tell myself. No, I'll take this time to tell you guys a little bit about myself. Um, we have one amazing little boy that you've seen in our other videos. He is almost two years old. And he's my favorite. It took us a year and a half to get pregnant with him. And we have been married for almost four years. And we basically started right off the bat. Like, we weren't preventing it. We just wanted to grow our family almost immediately. And so we tried for a year. Still nothing. So we waited a few more months because the first few months we were trying but not trying. And I didn't... I tried to track my periods, they've always been all over the place. I don't know, it just took forever. So finally after about a year and a few months, we went to go see a doctor and see what was going on. And they did a couple tests and they said that I had insulin resistance, which could, as far as I remember, they told me it could help with the whole throwing off my period thing. And they told me also that I had cysts on my ovaries. I didn't know it at the time because they never ever mentioned these words, but they never said that I had PCOS. They never said it was polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, so they stuck me on metformin, which was to help with the insulin resistant and to help get me regular, which it did. And about a month and a half later... Ta-da! I was pregnant and I was, we were so excited, we tried so hard, it just, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> we tried so hard and we were so excited to be pregnant. The pregnancy went well, we had an amazing little boy and after we had him, we decided at about six months old that we would start trying again. And because it took so long, so we were like, okay, we'll try again. And we'll kind of start early, and it would be okay if they were really close, because we want lots of children, so we were fine with that. So we... We started trying it when he was about six months old, and like I said, he's almost two years old, so it's been almost a year and a half. And after... I guess about a year, we went to a doctor again and said, hey, we've been trying for a long time now to have our second child and we haven't had any luck and my periods were irregular again and instead of being far apart, they were now, I was now like I was having two periods in a month, I'd have my regular period and then about halfway in between, I would have spotting for about four to five days. To this day, that's still happening, and it's been over a year since that started happening. And I, 
like no one's told me what that is or how to take care of that yet. We went to doctors and they're like, okay, let's try for a few more months. And we're like, okay. So we talked to them and they, we tried for a few more months and I wasn't, she did a test again and I wasn't insulin resistant anymore and I don't have thyroid issues or anything like that. We tried for a few more months and then they did another ultrasound and they said, well, yeah, you have PCOS and no one had ever told me that before and I had heard about it, I don't know, sometime between nine months to a year ago, probably about a year ago when we started trying again. No, I maybe even heard about it before that, but my a family member has PCOS and she was telling me about it and I was like, okay. And our symptoms are semi-similar, but hers is, they're different. So that's the first time I heard about PCOS was from her. But I didn't know that I had it. I just knew, yeah, I have cysts on my ovaries, but I didn't realize that's what it was because no one ever said those words to me. So my doctor finally told me that, yeah, you have PCOS, and so it's going to be, it's going to be hard to get pregnant. So we did a few months of trying again, still nothing, so she did a few more tests, Double checked I still had PCOS, I didn't have insulin resistance anymore, and I had been off my meds for a little while. Yeah, she told me before that I didn't have it, so I stopped taking them. So after about three, four months of not taking them, she was like, okay, let's just put you back on it, because it helps to regulate your periods in the first place, and it's fine to get pregnant while you're taking metformin. So she said, okay, we'll stick you back on that. So I was back on that, and... I still haven't got pregnant, um, so I've been having these weird symptoms <clears throat> and all this stuff and she's still, I still couldn't get pregnant after a few more months and so she said, okay, how about, um, basically she told me that she could stick me on, I think it's called Clomid? I, I don't know, one of those medicines. She told me that she could put me on it, but the only problem is that after so many months, it doesn't really work as good anymore. And you also get symptoms from it that you might not want. We decided together that I shouldn't be on that yet because she thinks she thinks we need to go see a specialist. And um, she told us that my husband needs to get tested, which... He would have been tested by now, but we just recently moved, and so it was this big ordeal, so we didn't want to get tested right away. We wanted to wait till we moved, so he's he's going to do that. And then she told me to go to a fertility specialist, which I still have to do, but she told me I need to see if I'm even ovulating every month, and she told me there's a good chance that I'm not, that I only ovulate a few times a year. And so she told me that with my son... It was basically a miracle because we weren't keeping track of ovulation. The only thing I was doing was keeping track of um, my periods and we were trying in between them. She told me it was basically a miracle. I think she said dumb luck, but my son is an amazing miracle to me. So she said it was just kind of dumb luck because we weren't really trying like hard, as hard as we could. We weren't scheduling, we weren't doing ovulation tests, we weren't doing any of that, just trying in between my periods. So she, I need to go see a specialist, it's kind of where we're just at now. My husband's going to get tested and I need to see a specialist. Um, she told me I could take ovulation tests every month, but she told me that because I am irregular and because I do have that spotting and all that stuff going on, that I probably wouldn't, I would have to basically test every day in between, like as soon as I'm done bleeding and in between my next period and maybe even on the spotting days because those days I could be ovulating, I could not be ovulating, she doesn't know what's going on. So that's kind of where we're at now and ovulation tests aren't cheap. We did buy some and I haven't been able to use them yet because I didn't want to use them while I was so stressed about, stressed out about moving. So that's just, that's kind of where we're at now and I just wanted to let you guys know that that's a struggle we're going through and I am kind of nervous and excited but you guys will be going on that journey with us because I'm going to be filming every day so you will see everything I'm going through. It'd be amazing if you guys could send prayers or juju or good vibes, whatever, whatever you want my way so that 
I can hopefully get pregnant again because we really would like to expand our family. We're just doing our best to stay positive and have a good attitude about this and get through this together. Thank you for listening, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll keep you updated on other stuff that I find. Yeah, I will take you with me on my run to Barnes & Nobles later when I go get a children's book. Yeah, just kidding. My hair's still doing weird stuff back there. And my face is still blah. It's been one of those days when I can't even get ready. We just went to Barnes and Nobles and got some cute books. I got this one for my son, Milk and Cookies. I love this book. I used to read it growing up. And then we got another one for my book exchange um, that I am doing called I Love My Mommy that was super cute. So yeah, we're doing that. And Hayden's hanging out in the back. Say hi. Hi. Good job. I love you, sweetheart. <laughs> you see yourself? Are you so cute? Yeah. <laughs> Here's my hubby. He got a job today. Woo! Yeah. We are so excited. Make some money. Mm, yeah. Finally. And we're we'll little stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Save up, do some stuff, get some help with fertility stuff because he'll get benefits in three months. So that's exciting. Except for I don't want to wait three months to start trying to have another kid again. But, you know, we'll see what happens. We're going up the canyon for a beautiful drive and to take some pictures with our new camera. Oh yeah. Yeah, camera. Mama. Good job. So yeah, we're gonna go have fun up the canyon. It's so beautiful up here. Take a look for yourselves. So beautiful. Our windows are dirty, please excuse them. Just <laughs> Oh, you can't see yourself? Is that you? Oh. Oh. Can you say hi to yourself? Hi. And to all the people, yeah. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. So we found some deer driving up in the wilderness. I'm going to try and show uh, them right, to you. Right. You can't what? be quiet, okay? You can't be quiet. No, yeah, I see where one is. Yeah. How cool is that? Hayden, how cool is the deer? Yeah, I'll see if I can find them. What's that? It's a deer. Oh. Oh, okay. No. The deer are coming back out. Oh, look, look. So cool. So cool. We're going to go up around the bend and see if we can see them some more too. So we went and saw the deer close up. I should have took my phone, but we ran out of the car because they were behind us. And now they're over there somewhere. But uh, yeah, they took off, but we were pretty excited. It was exciting to see the deer. It's fun to see this little curious guy and his excitement at what that, what that. What's that? What's that? Pretty awesome. Everything. But yeah, if we see any more, I'll try and show you guys. There he is. Saying hi to the deer. Hi, deer. Hi, deer. Okay, I'm going to be moving. Okay, bye, deer. You got him? I got him. Yeah. Night night. Little Hayden bugs going to bed. Can you see night night? 